Hello Cancer, it's Milady from Milady's Weights here and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of August 28th through September 4th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read them straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, share, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs, and let's get this show on the road, okay? All right, what's going on with the cancer? Cancer, cancer. What's going on with the cancer? Cancer love reading, August 28th through September. 4th, 2017. I don't know. October keep popping up in my head for you guys. Like October, October, October. So I don't know. Maybe something going on in October for some of you. Alright, so whatever the situation is, it's been going on for a long time. A long time to me is at least three months. Three months of something. Mm. Alright, so somebody has been Either, either feeling like you have been uh, emotionally draining to them or they feel like, or vice versa. Okay. Oh, you got stuff shooting out. Oh, wow. Okay, so you guys do love each other. But it's like you love each other, you've been together for a while, but somebody's being emotionally draining. All right, what is this air card about for the... Cancer. What is this air card about for the cancer? Mm. Alright, so it seems like somebody's trying to be emotionally trained. I mean, <laughs> being emotionally draining because they're trying to focus on their self. They're trying to cleanse their self and, you know, I think they're trying to speak up for their self and, and, and um, just speak up for their self. You know, try to do better, doing stuff for themselves, and it's, it's starting to hinder the relationship. You know, somebody in the relationship does not like change, and this is really um, upsetting the focus. All right. Okay, so I feel like you might have started this self cleanse, um, power empowerment thing because this person was treating you like they didn't want you. Or it could be the other way around, you know? Like, somebody wasn't getting enough attention, so they're like, okay, well, I can go get some attention outside, you know? Or, you know, I can, I don't need your attention. I can do this myself, you know? Everything I need, I can do it, you know? Okay, so, yeah, it's, it started becoming a power struggle after that. Yeah, you, um, you or your partner started trying to be noticed all the time. Yeah, it was like who who's the bigger, who's the best, who can, you know, who can do what the most. Yeah. I feel like this is on all this it only started after the person started treating you like they didn't want you. You start getting yourself together and now it's like a power struggle. Oh, you can do that? Well, I can do this. You can do that or I can do this. Or this could just be somebody that you work with. Okay? All right, but it's looking good in the future for you guys' love. I see, I really do see um, you guys being together for a while. Or this could mean like whatever in the relationship happens is destined to happen. Like if y'all go together, I mean, stay together, if y'all get married or uh, get a divorce, whatever is for the better, you know? All right. What is this power card about for the cancer, cancer, cancer? What is this power card about for this cancer love reading? Okay, so yeah, this makes me feel like it might be somebody you work with. I mean, maybe you and your partner work together or um, y'all own a business together or something like that. But it seems like somebody is starting to take control of their own life and it's starting to shake up the relationship a little bit. But I think it's doing it for the better. All right. Uh, this is somebody is not being able to sleep, you know, um, I guess that's equivalent to the nine of swords up all night, worrying, stressed out. And, um, it's because it's like, you think of the next strategy to like, what do I need to do here? What do I need to do here? Just to, you know, 
get ahead in this relationship or, you know, make him be him or her notice me, you know, and this doing for yourself is actually um, getting them to notice you. Okay. So this is all work and no play. You've been um, working so hard. Uh, this card, I think it says something like um, money is made for, uh, don't, basically don't let the money empower you, you know, just like, I think money can bring you great joy and great sorrow at the same time. So it's like, don't overdo it to the point where, you know, you working hard and you missing out on your relationship, you know, on better things, your kids, you know, but I see you guys might work together. So the Wheel of Fortune, there's nine of swords. The Wheel of Fortune is reversed. So I'm feeling like maybe most of this hasn't happened yet. You know, maybe you're still in the first stages of getting it together. Like maybe you're still in the sleep phase. Like, oh, well, I'm just going to get myself together and maybe to change the relationship. And it seems like it's will if this is a thought right now. But if you already got the ball rolling, you're already seeing the results of it. You know? Um, all right, let's do it. Some of you may be getting over some kind of, um, well, I guess the loss. The loss could be of uh, the relationship. The love feeling was lost for a minute. But, yes, should be coming back. All right, what's going on for the cancer? Cancer, cancer. What's going on for the cancer love reading for 828 through 9-4-2017? Mm. Uh, like I said, I read these straight out the book. Oh, jeez. Mm. Okay. So, let me just read these out the book. So, I, okay. Let's, let's just read them out the book. All right. So, we have the Ace of Swords reversed. Ace of Swords, a notice of new birth, pregnancy, increase in family by marriage or adoption, and relocation. Okay? Then we got the page of coins. Mm -mm. So this is not going to work, not going to school. Um, basically, it's going to be some bad news coming about this situation or maybe um the baby coming was the bad news because it's like not a great time okay so we got the five of or maybe some of you probably lost a baby and it just tore up everything i think that could be where this um feeling of being left out or not cared about came from all right five of cups reverse so it says, information, knowledge of self-history, a window to correct past behavior, set out for new goals. Then you have the sun. Sun, sun, sun. Please shine down on me. All right, so it says, um, a time of absolute joy, peace, and happiness. Uh you look at life life as a gift full of future fortune so many good things approach everything you touch will lead to success and ultimate success so yeah um this could be a relationship going to the next level with um like if you're married already is having babies or you know whatever the social next best thing is um for you but it's basically saying keep going. Just um, make sure you make a plan and make goals and stick to it. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you want a personal reading. Check in the description box below. Other than that, have a great week. Oops, sorry. <laughs>